Jack and uh, Hi. Um, move a little bit backward. And first, uh, take your chopstick and uh, start doing an exercise with a chopstick. And get yourself the speaker. Eh? Move the speaker to yourself. Good. Can you hear okay. us now? Yes. Good, good, good. Do you have your chopstick, Jeff? Jack? Jack, can you take your chopstick? Can you hear me? Oh, uh, yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Can you take the chopstick, please? Chop the chopstick. We are not a chopstick one. Oh, man. He said he never had the chopstick before. I know, he has Leon one. Oh. Okay, Jack. Now you're going to demonstrate a little bit of thumb squeeze. Everybody can follow. So place your chopsticks correctly and try to do your thumb squeeze. Good, now go on your bow. Go on your bow. And now do your thumb waves from your bow. Yeah. And now do some circle, please. Okay, Jack, you can start performing your piece and you will play Song of the Wind. Uh, I thought you said Aunt Rody. Oh, Auntie Rody. Okay, you're playing Auntie Rody. Okay. Are you playing with the piano? Uh, yes. Okay, let's go. No. Yeah, don't go next to the tail. Ready? job. Uh, many of you have, have listened that the sound is different than a violin. That was a viola, in fact. And Jack has just started, uh, just starting a month ago, probably, to play the viola. And uh, he's doing very fast. He's learning one song per lesson. And he has his brother, Leon. He will hear soon also his brother, Leon, that is nearby him, that is also a violinist. The next one is a new friend of us that we have in our studio. His name is uh, Leonardo Lopresti. And uh, I, I invite you, uh, Leonardo's mother, to unmute, to unmute him. Hi, Leonardo. Leonardo just start learning the violin this month. This is probably his first class and his fourth lesson. And Leonardo, can you take your chopstick and go nearby closer to, can you go closer to the, in front of the camera, please? So they can see your hand. Thank you. And try to do a little bit of pinky tap with your chopstick. We need to see your feet, we need to see your hand correctly, eh? 
Very good. Now, mom, you can place the violin on Leonardo. And Leonardo will play for us song on E. But before you start, Leonardo, how old are you? Six. Six. It started like last month, I mean, the beginning of the month. This is his fourth lesson and uh, is part of my class at the start of the sea. Okay, let's start your song. Take a bow, very good job. Mom can help him with the violin, very good job. Wonderful. Okay, if you can play the file for him on the phone, you play the file so he can follow. Yes. Place your bow on the string. Congratulations, Leonardo. That was his, your first performance ever. You probably will remember this day. You did very well. Uh, you, are very, you were holding the violin very well. And uh, I hope you enjoy your playing. It was kind of very good for four lessons and your age very good. Thank you very much. I hope you stay with us and listen all of the other uh, Young violinists, there are some friends of you from your same school that will also play. So please remain with us and, um, and listen to the other piece because pretty soon you're going to learn them all. So next one that we have is uh, Elliot. It's my friend Elliot. Elliot, can you come a little bit more close? You know, we haven't started yet. <laughs> You're just ready to play, I know. But uh, I have to follow, I have to make you some questions, you know? Uh, Elliot, how old are you? Uh, seven. And how long have you been playing the violin? Two years. Two years, oh. And have you been done already playing public already? Is it your first time or have you already played several times public? Osaka. Osaka. You wanna help? You did two competition, Elliot, right? You did the Osaka competition two times. Uh, last one you actually did kind of good, right, Elliot? And See? so, Elliot, for you, I want you to demonstrate it for the class, uh, bow swings. So you can give the violin to Mr. Andy, go a little bit more close to the camera so they can see you. They can see your beautiful bow posture and your hand and, and try to do the bow swings. Yeah, might, might be hard. Ready? <laughs> Keep going. Very good. Very nice, Bo Queen. And now do some little circle. Everybody's welcome to do as a choice with Elliot because they're helps. Okay, Elliot, and it's your turn. I think you are, because we don't have one person, you will perform two songs. You will perform Oh Come Little Children. This is my wife watching with us. Uh, oh, come little children. And uh, after that, minuet one. You can choose which one you, which one you wanna start with. Minuet one. Minuet one, okay.
happen? <laughs> the music, the music. Okay, sorry. Go oh, again, sorry. Okay, we... Please welcome little children. Just give me one second. Akesha, let him play. Yeah? <laughs> You're not a teacher there. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Give me a second. Good job, Elliot. You use the version with the violin. You know that we're supposed to use the piano one, eh? not the violin. But I would see that you were really well with the with the violin together, very together, very good, a long bow, and I can see that you're using the forefinger. So the way they work the book one, they are divided in two big groups. The early songs that they are the one in A major and the more advanced song, they are the one in G major. The students who get to the level, to the G major level, get to play two songs, uh, either or a scale and a song or 
a song in uh, in G major and a song in A major. That's why Elliot has the the privilege to play more because he has more repertoire only for that. Now, next one we have a new student that I misspelled his name in his message and please apologize me. Her name is Kaylee and uh, I don't see her. I hope I'm gonna see her around. And uh, hi Kaylee, so you can remove your, uh, you can put your microphone so and come a little bit close to the screen, please. Can you come closer to the screen? I don't, I still see you kind of. Hi, Kaylee. So how old are you, Kaylee? Nine. Nine. And how long have you been playing the violin? Three lessons. Three lessons. Okay. And Kaylee, she's one of my students at the start of the sea. And uh, she is going to perform. She's going to do first, of course, an exercise with the chopstick. And I would like for you to do for me the thumb squeeze with your chopstick. Very good, Kaylee. Very good. And now you're going to take your violin and you're going to perform for us song in E and song in A. Thank you, mom, for helping. And so you can send the first file. Now the next song is going to be song in A. Okay, put, go back in your rest position and bow and everybody can clap the hand. Wonderful job, Kaylee. I saw your face, you were very focused on the string when you were playing and the sound, even there were a little bit of uh, no interruption because of the connection, the sound was really clear and nice. I really enjoy it. Okay. Thank you very much for your performance and hope to see you more. Next one is also a new, uh, it's the first performance for her and uh, it's uh, Elsa and is on the viola. Miss Rachel, you can uh, unmute so I can talk to Elsa a little bit. Of course, sorry. Hi Elsa and welcome to your class. So that's your first time that you perform in public, like Elsa? Second time. Second time. <laughs> Elsa, how old are you? Doing this. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How old are you, Elsa? Nine. Nine. How long have you been playing the viola? About three or four months. Three or four months. And Elsa also is a fast learner. And uh, what are you playing for us? Petrol motion. Oh, that's a difficult one. Eh? Everybody who's going through there know how hard is the perpetual motion. Eh? Okay, so let's hear that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, Miss Rachel, you didn't have any music for her? No, I didn't. I don't think I have the sound file for her. For you don't viola. have the sound file? For viola, no. Oh, I probably forgot to send it to you. Is it's it? my fault. <laughs> Does Clementine has the sound files? She has the, yeah, we have the sound file for violin, but not uh, in double. But too. her piece, that she has her piece sound, on sound file? Yes, I can pull that up. Uh, and also the scale. She has the scale, right? Yes. The G major scale file, right? That is correct, yes. Yes, okay. I just want to make sure. Well, good job, Elsa. The only thing is that when you perform in a piece, you're not supposed to interact with the audience. Eh? <laughs> you sound very beautiful. You have a beautiful hand that moves well. Next time that you perform, whatever is happening, don't interact with the audience. Okay? That's the way that we do. Okay. You can bow to the public and thank you very much. Okay. Next one is uh, also a new, a new one. And his name is Leon. Where is Leon? Do I see Leon around? Okay, so I'll move Leo and mute you. Okay, Leon. Leon, how old are you? Leon, can you hear me? Yeah. How old are you? Five. Okay. How long have you been playing the violin? Do you remember? Two months. Two months. Two months. Okay, Leon. Le uh, Leon is about to place in his finger already. You try already your third finger. and But uh, for today, he will not probably use the finger. But I want you to do some as a child, demonstrate some as a child in the class. And I want you to do a little bit a uh, bow circle for us. Sure. So use the bow and do bow circle. So give the violin to your dad. Very good. Prepare, prepare your bow correctly and try to circle down for us. Try. Ready? Go. One, two, look at your tip. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Everybody's welcome to do circle with my friend Leon. Everybody that watches, okay? Okay, Leon. So now take your violin. Your dad is gonna pass you the violin. Go in rest position, please. Rest position. Bow. Dad, you have the you have his file ready? Yes. Okay, go in play position, Leon. Good job. Go, violin on your shoulder, hold the violin and go in, in rest position. Okay, Leo will play a song on E and A. So let's try. Place your bow on the string, Leo. Leo, your bow on the string. Thank you. Check your pinky and your bow hand.
Okay, go in rest position. Rest position. Okay, everybody clap the hand and you did a good job. That was your first class. Okay, finally, there is Akecha. Where is Akecha? And today is the birthday of one of my students uh, that will perform. Her name is Clementine. And I think that Akesha has a surprise for her, right? You yeah. have a, do you, so uh, can you unmute you? Yeah. Akesha, do you have a surprise for Clementine? Yeah. So are you going to play something for her? Yeah. Okay, I hope that Clementine is watching. I don't see her. Do I see Clementine? Oh, there. Okay, so so you hear that Akesha is gonna play something for you, eh? Okay, so when you're ready. Job. that's very nice of you and I'm telling you next time that it will be your birthday Clementine will be happy to play for you right Clementine <laughs> okay and thank you Miss Trifania to accompany her what great job you did uh, helping her with the song thank you for the mom who was there on the piano helping her okay so we're gonna start with uh, because I think we're running Fast, but not enough. Akesha, so what are you going to play for us? Um, minuet three and Lightning Road. Lightning Road. So what do you want to start with? What? Okay, minuet three first. Please don't interrupt with the public. Okay? Thank you. 
Okay, let's play next one. You're gonna play Lady Road. Yeah. You don't have the file. Mr. Carlo, we don't have the file. I think okay, I can you play without the file? Very good job. Actually, sounds better like that than with the file. They're not this interruption. They're not uh, noisy. Okay, next time. Next. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Akesha. Akesha is moving to book two pretty soon. It's almost finishing book one and getting into book two. And uh, now it's another viola player that we have. And uh, his name is Janice. Uh, sorry, it's Ian. I made a mistake. Janice is his mom. I am, I'm sorry, I correct myself because I spell it, I wrote it wrong. Ian, I don't know if I see him around. Here it is. Okay. I, Ian, you can unmute yourself and yeah. you can get yourself ready. And I want you to demonstrate it to take your uh, chopstick like I have and try to demonstrate it. I'm going to do it with you. Uh, thumb waves. Make sure that you get very close to the to the to the video so I can see you. Ready? Go. Make sure that you curve your pinky correctly. Okay. Very good. So now you're gonna start with your you play the first part of the twinkle tune on the viola using the rhythm pepperoni pizza or whatever rhythm you call. Ready? <laughs> Okay, can you do it again and play also the A one more time, please? Because they know very well this reading. There was one A that was missed in the road, probably do it to the recording. Try. <laughs> Very good. Bow to the public and congratulations for your first song. Okay, next one is Alvin. I didn't forget about you, Alvin. I had a little bit of a position, but Alvin is here, so unmute yourself. Alvin, first, because you're really good with the bow, I want you to demonstrate the elevators. Wonderful. And pinky tap. Very good. Alvin, how long have you been playing the violin? 10 months. And how old are you? Eight. Eight. I see behind yourself your circle chart. Can you show your circle chart to the, to the, to the public? Wow, look at that. Those are all of your circle that you have done. Oh, you're doing pretty well. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, okay, so when you're ready to play, mom can send the file or if she cannot send the file, you can play without file. Whatever you prefer is more comfortable. Eh? 
we're having problem with all of those files. That was very good. Unfortunately, <laughs> thank you very much. It was a very good performance, but unfortunately your violin is a little bit out of tune and we couldn't tune from distance. So maybe next time we will do it. Okay, thank you very much, Alvin. And uh, now it's time of the birthday girl. Where is the birthday girl? Okay, come close to the, to the, to the stand. Okay, Clementine, you want to talk a little bit about, about yourself? How long have you played the violin, Clem? Four years. How old are you? Eight. And which book are you right now? Book two. Okay, so Clementine, I want you to do a demo. First, uh, I want you to show thumb squeeze with the, chop, with the book two chopstick, okay. which is different than the book one. You can pass the violin to mom. There you are. And then you want to show how do we do circle on an advanced level with your violin and your bow. Acacia too is doing the circle. Very good. And Clementine, you are going to play two songs. One is a song, the other is a scale. One is the Happy Farmer and the other one is the major scale. What would you like to start with? You wanna start with the G major scale? Yeah. Okay. Miss Rachel, do you have the file? I do. Okay, so let's hear that. I'll go ahead and begin. Yes, there is a horse at the end of the piece. Very good job. Now we're going to play Happy Farmer. Okay. Ready? Oops, I'm sorry, that was my fault. Okay. We go again. Here we go. 
I can't get it louder. Good job. Very good job. I'm going to see you pretty soon also in the book two class. Eh? And since we talk about uh, advanced book, we also have a special guest. I think she's around and she's smiling because I called her special guest. And it's Sherich. Sherich, you can unmute you. Hi, Sherich. You have your violin with you? You're supposed to play standing up. Eh? You have your file. You have everything. Good. Okay. Sherich, which book are you currently? Book four. Yeah. Finishing book four, right? And so I want you to show you how a book four sounds in the book one. And uh, how long have you been playing the violin? One and a half year. One and a half year. Yeah, it's kind of impressive that you make a, this big jump with the, with the, with the violin eh, in all of those years. And so you're going to play a little bit of a part of the book four, which is a beautiful piece. What are you going to play? The Vivaldi Violin Concerto, some section, just the, to a certain part. We're not going to play the whole thing, just to show that. And then you will play a song from the book one, right? Yes. But, but before that, you also want to do a little bit of exercise and you want to show your advanced circle, advanced circle for book four, which include those difficult movement that it's called the finger flicks. You want to show it? But on, in a circle, on a circle. No, you go on a circle on the valley. In the way that you do circle, you do it. Uh, okay, show it. See the movement of the finger goes there and it does flicks. Eh? And at the tip is the same. See on the book four how the bow it's correctly exactly in the point of contact. It's not anymore an issue after all of those years of circle. Not in her case, only one year and a half, but it would be for everybody. Okay, when you're ready, you can start your file if you want to start the file and play with that. So we put it down.
Thank you. Very good. What you have just here is a Vivaldi Violin Concerto is one of the most difficult piece of the book four that both violinist and violist also have to learn. And that's a beautiful piece. Now, uh, Sherry, she's gonna play a song of the book one, but uh, in a way that uh, a book four will play. So the song that she's gonna play is the Allegro and uh, she is going to use uh, uh, the spiccato, which is a very uh, difficult control in both strokes to use at the frog and some shifting probably. For sure, there will be the vibrato. You have seen that in book four, they start using vibrato and all of those beautiful things of the violin. Okay, when you're ready, Sheric. <laughs> Good job. Thank you for the circle at the hand. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Sherich. I think our class is basically finished. I was expecting a girl that was in late, Olivia, but probably she couldn't make it. Is another, uh, is another student from the uh, Star of the Sea. Well, I hope that uh, for everyone was the first time you have enjoyed the class and uh, I hope that uh, it has been useful somehow to experience, to perform. Usually those class are in person and we're really looking forward to have them back in person as they used to be. Um, but until uh, it is not possible, we will keep going like that and we will definitely do our best to offer every one of you possible to perform. Thank you very, very much. And thank you for all of the parents who have dedicated their times with their children. Those are probably the real person behind all of that. I'm just a teacher without them. I couldn't do anything. And, uh, and uh, thank you for spending a little bit of your Sunday time dedicating to the violin and the beautiful music and the artistry of your children. See you a lesson this week and uh, see you in the next class. Oh, I have to send uh, uh, two pictures that before we leave, of course. Uh, one is Clementine and one is Akecha. Can we show first? Uh, uh, so those two girls, they were, the reason why they have the abacus uh, in their hand, it's because uh, Akecha has complete a task and you can see her red, her blue line is on one side, a series of difficult repetition. Eh? It's, a, uh, it's called a sequencing, a series of difficult repetition without stop of a difficult, of a difficult passage that couldn't solve. And she did it like uh, in a very fast way. The second one is Clementine that she did actually two different sequencing on a piece of book three. Acacia was on the minuet three and Clementine, she did two different sequencing, repeating over uh, very fast with a lot of attention span of a piece of book three that she will perform in her solo and ensemble. Congratulations for your first, uh, for Clementine was probably her second, but we officialize now. Congratulations for your first experience of sequencing that shows your capacity of strength, of being able to repeat and work, because as we say, practicing makes perfect. Remember that, maybe write it on your wall or write it everywhere, but remember that practicing and repeating makes perfect, okay? And with, that, with this word, I 
I wish you everybody the rest of the Sunday very good in, in peace and harmony with your family and see you a lesson. And thank you very much. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay.